God sent his son and they called him Jesus because he lives I can face tomorrow God sent his son they called him Jesus he came to love he land forget he lived and died to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my savior lives because he lived i can face tomorrow because he lived all fear is gone because i know yes i know he holds the future and life is worth living just because he lived how sweet to hold a new born baby and feel the pride and joy he gives but greater still the calm assurance this child can face uncertain days because he lived because he lived i can face tomorrow because he lived all fear is gone because i know Yes, I know he holds the future and life is worth living just because he lived and then one day I'll cross the river I'll fight life's fight no war with pain and then as death gives way to victory i'll see the lights of glory and i know he lives because he lives i can face tomorrow because he lives All fear is gone because I know yes I know he holds the future and life is worth living just because he lived and life is worth living just because he lived Right, so one more song. The song says our God is greater, our God is stronger. God is higher than any other. And our God is a healer, he's awesome in power. That is our God. Water you turned into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you Into the darkness Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome and power our God 
our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is sealer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is sealer, awesome in power, our God. Oh All right, so I'm going to call upon Aaron to lead us in prayer today. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Almighty and loving Father, creator of heaven and earth, we praise you and adore you. You are the King of kings. We humbly ask your forgiveness for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We are, uh, we are gathered here today for our meeting. Send us your Holy Spirit and be our guide and give us the wisdom to understand every topic that we are going to discuss. Enlighten our minds and let your, loving, uh, let your love be upon us. We thank you, Father, for the precious time that you have given us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Aaron. <coughs> All right, so the season of joy is upon us. So this is a time when we go for shopping, we get a lot of gifts, and we give a lot of gifts. And so I've been preparing my Christmas gift list and all the things that I've purchased. Of course, I haven't forgotten your gifts. I think uh, your prizes are on the way. Your quiz prizes are on the way. But today we're going to play a game which has something to do with these gifts. Okay, so I'm going to show you an object, and you can you have to keep yourself muted. The person I ask should tell me the cost of that particular gift. Okay, okay. Maybe you have a general idea about how much that thing is. I will also tell you some general clues about how much it costs, but not really, nothing beyond. You have to make a guess on how much I actually paid to purchase that. Now, if your guess is lower than the price that I paid, okay, if your guess is lower, then I will say, no, no, it is higher than that. If your guess is more than what I paid, then I will tell, the, tell you, no, no, my my cost is lower than that okay so accordingly you can't say it again the next person can correct herself or himself okay so if i'm going to ask anton what is the cost of um, um what do you say my pen okay this is my ballpoint pen and uh, aaron says this thing costs 10 rupees maybe i paid only 9 rupees for that so i'll say less than 10 so aaron loses his chance and it goes to Anton. And Anton suddenly says, 8 rupees. Then I say, no, 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 1. I will say higher than that. So lesser than 10, higher than 8. Dia gets the point when she says it is 9. You get the point? So you, what you have to do is you have to guess how much I paid for it. I will give you clues. When each person makes a guess, I will tell you clues whether to go higher or come lower. Okay. On that, we will start. This was just a trial round. I'm going to show you something which I bought for my Christmas gift. Ready, guys? Okay, the first question goes to, let's say, who's on my screen? All right, so Dia is on my screen, okay? Dia, I bought this, uh, okay, can you see this? I, I don't know if you can see this. 
it's almost the, the color of my okay i have to it's a it. tennis ball yes it's a tennis ball okay the background is coming inside so you can't see it it's a tennis ball it costs between 50 and 80 okay it costs something between 50 and 80 rupees can you guess how much i paid for this can get wild guess no problem 60 60 higher than that carolyn higher than 60 lesser than you know i i told you the maximum right 50 to how much how much do you say carolyn 70 70 no higher 70. than that that 70 right 70 so higher than that saina higher than that higher than 60 higher than 70 less than 80 but make a wild guess i know five is a little above what i paid for it little above how much i paid for it katherine you might be the lucky person 74 74 is the right answer okay so tennis ball 74 it took four people to find the actual rates all right next is uh, i'm going to cover the cost right the cost is here so i'm going to cover it yes it's two pairs of scissors i bought for somebody who wants to cut their hair right so uh, the cost is um, above 100 but below 150 above 100 below 150 two beautiful scissors one pink and one blue right the question goes to aaron how much did i pay for this 145 145 no less than that anton beautiful kisses 140 140 no less than that samuel is next 135 135 less than that i paid less than that it was a good bargain yeah marina you're next How much did I pay for this? Two scissors. Marina. She ran away because she saw the scissors. Are you there, Marina? No, she's not there. Okay, so Marina is missing. So the chance goes back to Dia. How Can much? Twenty. Hundred and twenty, little above that, little above that, very close. Carolyn, one twenty-five. One twenty-five, right answer. So Carolyn gets scissors. No, you don't get the scissors. It's my gift, okay? So uh, you get the right answer. Yes, and I got this sanitizer spray. What well, the sanitizer spray? And uh, it's very, very. nice spray i can use it you know okay nice smell also so i paid less than 100 above 80 for this above 80 less than 100 beautiful sanitizer sweet smelling yeah okay so question goes to kadrin how much did i pay for this 85 how much 85 no higher than that Aaron sanitizer 94 94 higher than that you're very close actually okay uh, Anton 100 uh, less than 100 uh, less than 100 Saina 95 95 higher than 95 Samuel 99 99 right answer it was 99 rupees one less than the mrp oh yes all right so here comes oh, this is a very easy one i'm sure you all have this my beautiful christmas mask all right christmas mask i paid something about 10 rupees below 20 rupees for this 
10 and 20 okay starts marina if you are there more than 10 less than 20 can you guess blue color mask nobody there all right dia it's back to you again about 10 below 20 15 15 higher than 15 it's higher than 15 carlin So higher than 15, 19. Less, 19, lesser than 19, very close, Catherine. I said, no, no, I said 17, Catherine. I said 17. You said 17, 17 is the right answer. Okay, Carolyn gets a mask, okay. Right, and you know, I have these um, earbuds, I have these uh, beautiful earbuds, and uh, these cost less than 60, but above 40 less than 60 above 40 Catherine 55. 55 no less than that Aaron beautiful pair beautiful cotton buds cotton buds Johnson's and Johnson's cotton buds less than 55 more than 40 45 45 higher than 45 Anton uh, 49. 49, higher than 49, Saina. Oh. Just missed it. 50. 50, correct answer. 50, cotton buds. One packet costs 50 rupees. Okay. Now, it's a, this, is a, this is a rare one. You may not find it anywhere else. Uh, this is a good one. It's a mouth organ, a small blue mouth organ. I paid more than 300 for this, but not more than 350. Okay, 300, 350. What is the real price? Samuel. What was it? What? 1000? No, 300 and 350 within that. Guess, guess fast. 349? 349? No, I didn't spend 349. Lower than that, lower than that. Marina, are you there? I'm sure she's not there, but I'm just calling her name just to see if she's there. But she's I'm not. Here, I'm here. Oh, you're yeah. there. Okay. Can you guess? What is the price of this? Oh, what Less was than the price again? I mean. 300 to 349 is the guess. Between that, lesser than 349, higher than 300. Beautiful blue harmonic. 325. 325, lesser than that, lesser than that. Okay. Uh, Dia. 320. 320, less than that. Carolyn. How much would you pay for this? Huh? How much? 310. 310 or little more than that. Little more than that. Almost close. Catherine. How much? 315. 315. Less than that. Less than that. Ah, Aaron, no, no. Aaron gets a chance, then Anton gets it. Yes. 315, 310. 313. 313. Less than that. I know it. I know it. Yes. Uh, is it less than 313? Yes, it is less than and more than 310. You are very close. 312. 12. Correct answer. And Anton yeah. gets it. Correct. All right. The last one that I have is... Something to keep my hygiene during the COVID times. It's a toothbrush and toothpaste set. Okay, a toothbrush and a toothpaste set. It costs it costs between one rupee and ten rupees. This costs between one rupee and ten rupees. What's the price? And the question goes to the next person on this queue is Saina. Seven. 
lower than that able nope. five five lesser than that samuel Uh, five. Yeah, somebody already said five. I said lesser than that. Ah. Uh, Three maybe. How much? Three. Three is not the right answer. Lesser than that. Lesser than that. <laughs> Marina. Two. Two rupees is the right answer. Two rupees. One toothbrush and one toothpaste for two rupees. <laughs> that is bargain Christmas shopping. Yes. And That's the last item. Okay, last item is very very good item. It is the strap of my watch. Okay, I bought a strap for my watch. Beautiful orange strap that goes with the Christmas dress. Just the strap. It costs between one fifty and one seventy. One fifty, one seventy. Last item. All right, and going to Dia again. One fifty, one seventy. Lovely strap, orange color. It is a season for oranges. Make a wild guess. One fifty-five. How did you guess that? One fifty-five is the right answer, and she gets the strap. Yeah, so that's okay. So that was a wild guess, I think. It could not be correct in the first chance. Yes. So one fifty-five is the cost for a strap. All right. Okay. Now, why why this game? See, these things cost a value. Okay. The shopkeeper has sold me these things for a certain value. But this toothbrush. when i have to clean something on my teeth and you know to keep my he teeth healthy this toothpaste toothbrush and toothpaste very very valuable for me it's not 2 rupees worth for me it is worth more than that you know when i sit next to some people and i start talking and they say you endure madam can't you go and brush your teeth in the chodikimbo i say oh i wish i had a toothpaste and a toothbrush you know when i'm going for a meeting or something like that and scissors of course when i'm going to do some cuttings and you know shaping and all that my beard trimming my hair cutting that time this is more valuable than 125 for me you no know? it's really precious i had to open some things and i i need a scissor desperately of course the sanitizer how can you say that it is not you know costly enough you guessed it is 99 it is much more valuable to me if i want it somebody is trying to communicate to me somebody from another planet i think Yes, we hear you. Sir. Yes, who is it, Alan? Sir, yes. Can you tell once more? Yes, I was saying about the cost of this is only ninety nine rupees, but it for me it is more precious. Imagine a person who is walking in a desert. Okay, one bottle of mineral water costs only fifteen rupees, but a person who is so thirsty and is walking in the desert, that bottle of mineral water is worth hundred rupees, thousand rupees. if he had the money and if he could afford the water he would say i will give you anything just give me that bottle of water why because the value of that thing is much more than the mrp okay value of the thing is much more than the price that has been given to it this is the price that we pay to buy this but in certain situations certain circumstances the value of this is much more than what is the price of that thing see that is what that is what the value of a thing shows okay now what god did for us on christmas is something more than we can ever imagine why because he gave more than what you can imagine for your price and my price sir manushan the cost of prayer we would say a man is costing you know so much so much money how much money does a man cost if you can't uh, calculate you know we are man is made of different kind of chemicals i made of sodium potassium i made of iron i made of all magnesium all these things are there inside my body chemicals i take all these chemicals little little bit of chemicals that i have in my body and measure it and put the value of it you would find out that a whole man the chemical price of man is only 222 rupees 222 rupees ullu adinathulla chemicals e nammada sharirathinathu 
ullu because majority of it is sand and sand has no value so the rest of the things including water if you purchase it from a shop you have to just give 222 rupees and you will get a components of man okay oru manushinte chemical compounds mulen namukku kadai nu vaangikan pattum 220 rupees but yeah if you check the internal organs of a human body they are very costly alle nammal aashutriyil okka kaanam ee organs okka donate cheyina aalkarku paisa kittum okay and if you are selling your kidneys if you are they are in very good condition and your kidneys are given to a person who is in need of a kidney a kidney goes for anywhere between 40000 and 1 lakh okay 40000 mudal 1 lakh rupees vare aalkar ready aanu nalla or kidney ki kodukkanayittu okay now a little more costlier would be the heart eyes people donate eyes sometimes they get money for donating eyes and how much do you get maybe anywhere between 30 to 40000 50000 maybe even maybe even up to 1 lakh you might get for an eye now heart very very costly heart transplant you know you have to get the correct heart you have to get a good healthy heart that you have to pay in lakhs maybe up to a crore you can demand if the person is rich you can ask for a crore you might get that also okay because all these internal organs are very very costly it saves the lives of people and they can be costly so you can say all those make up a man's cost no god says you are worth much more than that ഒരു വ്യക്തിയുടെ കോസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ അറിയുന്ന എപ്പോഴാണ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് ഫോർ ഹിം ഡിറ്റർമിൻസ് ദ കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എ പേഴ്സൺ യു സി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ വെൻ ഗോഡ് സെൻഡ് ഹിസ് സൺ ഇൻ പ്ലേസ് ഫോർ അസ് ടു ഡൈ ഓൺ ദ ക്രോസ് ദി എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് വാല്യൂ ഇസ് യുവർ ലൈഫ് ഫോർ ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് സോ യു ആർ ദാറ്റ് പ്രഷ്യസ് ടു ഗോഡ് യു സി യു ആർ പ്രൈസ്ലെസ് നമ്മൾ നമ്മുടെ മേലിൽ വില വെക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കത്തില്ല യു നോ so that much costly god considered you as so priceless he was willing to give the best that he had by sending his son to die on the cross for us you see so in exchange for you he gave the most costliest gift and that shows your price and my price god was not willing to let you go god was not willing to just wipe out mankind and say let me start again if there is no adam and there is no you who knows nobody nobody cares about it right but god said no i care about it i value your life that much and i'm willing to do this for you see so it shows our value so your life and my life is much more valuable to god than it is for us namak adinna vela illa irikkum pakshe devan namak athreyum vela vela aanu kalpichirikkunnathu that's what this game also tries to show you that we are more costly more precious to god than anything else in the universe bible says what does it gain a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul okay oru manushan logam sarva logam nedi kanjittu avante aathmavane nashtapaduthiyal avan endu laabho nanu chodikkunnu see so that means our soul is worth much more than the treasures of the world put together lokathula ella sambadhathikalum ella dhanathe kaalum valudana your soul and my soul and that is why god was willing to pay the highest price for us all right let's come back to mark chapter 16 something great has happened in jerusalem jesus has died on the cross he has been buried last week and now today we are going to see his resurrection see logathile etre 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 o leaders undu you know there are so many so many so many leaders freedom fighters are there revolutionaries are there political giants are there presidents are there prime ministers are there all these men have died and they all have their graves and people visit their graves and pay tribute to them pay honor to them avare respect yanayittu avare kallarakkel poi visit cheyunna oru parivadi undu okay people go there and say mahatma gandhi's tomb you know there it is the, the remains of mahatma gandhi are kept in kanyakumari and when you go to kanyakumari you will see the small a shrine kind of place where it is written there the remains of mahatma gandhi are kept here and people go there they're not allowed to wear your sandals inside that place it's an honored place a very respected place but cherpaka porta alichittu nammal bhaya bhakti odu kodi athu keri adheyathinte shava kudirathinte munbile namukku engena nikkan pattum okay we can just stand there and read all the things that this man did for the nation okay so it in honor of that person this place this uh, grave is kept there so that people would come and visit him and pay they respect they would be motivated by the way he lived and the way he died okay so religious leaders have their tombs they have their graves and people visit those graves and they say okay this is the place where 
that great man, that great religious leader died. And now his remains are buried here. Pharaohs of old, they died in, you know, they were mummified. Then they are put into those uh, pyramids and people visit the pyramids. And some of them are, uh, you know, some of the kings are buried in royal tombs and people go and visit those places. But the only person whose grave we don't visit or we don't have to visit is Jesus. Why? Because he's not there in the grave. No grave could hold him. He has been raised from the dead. So he's not there on the cross anymore. He's not there in the grave anymore. He has risen and he is alive. And that is what chapter 16 is all about. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let's go into the chapter and then we will see this passage in a little bit of detail. Verse 1, chapter 16, verse 1. Follow me in your Bible. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they, ha they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large and entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. And he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had seized them, and they had said they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Then verse 9. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him, as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. All right, let's come back. First verse of that chapter says, when the Sabbath was passed. You know, those days Sabbath was on Saturdays. Now we don't celebrate the Sabbath. We celebrate the resurrection of the Lord, which happened on Sunday. No? So now there is no more Sabbath for Christians. Sabbath is not on Sunday. It is not on Sunday. It is not on Sunday. So it's on a Saturday that the Jews celebrate the Sabbath. But for a Christian, there is no Sabbath. But the Sabbath has been moved. Our Holy Sabbath has been moved to Sunday. Why? Because the Lord rose on, sorry, Sunday. Lord rose on Sunday. Okay. The early Christians, first century church itself, they had moved the day from Saturday to Sunday. Why? Because they wanted to honor Christ who rose on Sunday. The religion was focused on the new faith was focused on Jesus and his resurrection. But they were all Jews. Peter was a Jew, James was a Jew, John was a Jew, but they had no problem in shifting the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday because now they knew everything was focused on Jesus alone. See, I will give you an example of that. Right? Acts chapter 20, verse 7. Apostle Pravartikal, Iruvada Madhyayam, Eram Vakyam. Okay, if you look at your calendars, you will find that the first day of the week is always Sunday. Okay, now check chapter 20 and verse 7. On the first day of the week, when we were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them intending to depart on the next day and he prolonged his speech until Midnight, see. So they met together to break bread. Break bread is on a communion, see. So they were met for communion service when? On Sunday morning, see. On the first day of the week is a Sunday. Also turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 16. On the Corinthian, Padinara Madhyayam. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 2 says, On the first day of the week of every week, each of you is to put something aside and store it up as he may prosper so that there will be no collecting when I come. See, Paul was asking them to gather a collection. On the first day of every week, you know, when you come together, store up, save up some money for the missionary work. 
സി പൗലോസിൻ്റെ യാത്രയ്ക്കായിട്ടും പൗലോസിൻ്റെ സഹായത്തിനായിട്ടും കുറച്ച് പൈസ സേവ് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കാനായിട്ട് ഈ സെയിം ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ ഇസ് എ മാൻ ഹു ഇസ് എൻകറേജിങ് ദം ടു മീറ്റ് എവ്രി സൺഡേ ബട്ട് സൺഡേ ഇസ് ദ ഡേ ദ ആർ മീറ്റിംഗ് ടുഗെദർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡേ ഓഫ് ദ വീക്ക് ഇസ് എ സൺഡേ സോ ഓൾറെഡി ഫ്രം ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഞ്ചുറി ഫ്രം ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ദർ സാബത്ത് ഹാഡ് ഷിഫ്റ്റഡ് ഫ്രം സാറ്റർഡേ ടു സൺഡേ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ വി ആർ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഓൺ സൺഡേസ് അറ്റ് ചർച്ച് നാ ഫോർ എസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് നെസസറി ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാഡ് വർഷിപ്പ് ഓൺ വൺ ഡേ നോ ഇൻ ഇൻ ഇഫ് യു ഗോ ടു ദ ഗൾഫ് റീജൻ ദർ ഹോളിഡേസ് ഓൺ ഫ്രൈഡേ സോ ദ സെലിബ്രേറ്റ് യു നോ ഹോളി കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ ഓൺ ഫ്രൈഡേസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദ ഡേ ഡസ് നോട്ട് മാറ്റർ ദേ ജസ്റ്റ് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് they do meet together and they do pray and break bread together okay so uh, we don't focus on days and we don't focus on seasons they are important but christ is more important than all of it together okay so honoring christ on one day of the week is all the more important now here the shift has happened from sabbath saturday to sunday then we see the people who gathered there okay i want to show you this uh, small uh, what do you call it um, oh yes uh, f5 i'm going to share the screen so that you can see it where is the share screen oh yes here you go all right so yeah this is moses you know meeting his people this is a cartoon saying that um sabbath is saturday or sunday sabbath was saturday now shifted to sunday yes the women you know they were looking in when they were coming to the tomb they were concerned what was their concern their concern was who will st- roll the stone away yesu karthavinte tomb inde mulle oru velli oru kallu kondu nittirunnu appa aa kallu engane maattum ennalladhaan i'm going to show you the tomb so that you get a picture of the tomb okay this is something like the tomb that was there do not that the same tomb alla we don't know which was the tomb there is a lot of tombs there in that area but this is one of the tombs that are there now and you see the stone eight people were used to roll the stone onto the mouth of the cave okay ee cave ne mungal mulla a stone roll cheyanatte ettu perada sahayamana ubhavichirunnu appo understand that you know this is how big the stone is one person cannot move it the three ladies cannot move it it needs men of muscle okay എന്നെ പോലെ മാസിലുള്ള കുറച്ച് പേരുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ അത് നീക്കാനായിട്ട് പറ്റുള്ളൂ എന്നെ പോലെ ഒരാളല്ല ഏഴ് പേരെങ്കിലും ഇനിയും വേണം അപ്പോൾ എങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ ആ സ്റ്റോൺ നീക്കാൻ അപ്പോൾ ദീസ് ലേഡീസ് വർ വെരി കൺസേൺ വൈ ഡു ദേ വോണ്ട് ടു ഡു ദിസ് എന്തിനാണ് അവർ സ്റ്റോൺ മാറ്റാനായിട്ട് നോക്കുന്നത് ബിക്കോസ് ദേ വോണ്ട് ടു അപ്ലൈ മോർ സ്പൈസസ് സി ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ദേ വർ കമ്മിങ് ഫോർ ദേ വർ കമ്മിങ് ടു അപ്ലൈ മോർ സ്പൈസസ് ഓൺ ജീസസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഹിസ് ബോഡി മേ നോട്ട് സ്റ്റിങ്ക് ഹിസ് ബോഡി മേ നോട്ട് ഡി കെ അപ്പോൾ അതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അതിൻ്റെ സ്മെല്ലിന് വേണ്ട അതിൻ്റെ പ്രിസർവേഷന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ദേ വോണ്ട് ടു ഹാവ് മോർ സ്പൈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വേ ഓഫ് ഓണറിംഗ് ദ ഡെഡ് ബോഡി ഓക്കെ മരിച്ച ആ ശവശരീരത്തെ ആദരിക്കുന്നതിന് ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സ് ആയിരുന്നു ബൈ ആഡിങ് മോർ സ്പൈസസ് ടു ഇറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ മൂന്ന് ദിവസം കഴിയുമ്പോഴേക്കും സ്പൈസസ് ഒക്കെ കുറച്ച് ഫെയ്ഡ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്ത് കാണും അപ്പോൾ കുറച്ചുകൂടെ പെർഫ്യൂം ആഡ് ചെയ്യാമെന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചാണ് അവർ വന്നുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് സി സോ വിസിറ്റിംഗ് ദ ടൂം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ദീസ് മൈ ലേഡീസ് വേ ഡൂയിങ് ഹു ആർ ദി ലേഡീസ് ദ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ദയർ മേരി മാഗ്ദലിൻ മേരി ദ മദർ ഓഫ് ജെയിംസ് and salome moonu vereyana paranjirikkunathu mary magdalene the person's uh, detail is given in verse 9 chapter 16 verse 9 le avare kurichu oru kaaryam kuda parayunnu endu kaaranu from whom he had cast out seven demons so mary magdalene was a person who had seven demons inside her and jesus had cast out those demons no wonder mary was in love with jesus no wonder no wonder mary wanted to worship jesus no wonder wonder that you know mary was coming early morning in the you know and coming to the tomb and trying to worship and honor jesus why because he has done such a great thing for her yesu karthav namukku vendi etra veliya karyangal cheyidu ennalladhu namukku tirichu yesu karthavinulla devotion aanu adinu telikkunnathu see how much do you love jesus that means you have received so much one who has received so much will do so much for jesus one who has received only little from jesus will only do little for jesus see so it depends on how you have received from him okay now if he he has forgiven all your sins and if you believe it then you will do whatever you can for jesus see now mary magdalene she would do anything for christ that is why we see her in chapter 15 verse 40 
at the cross at the foot of the cross she is there then we see her again in verse 47 at the grave when they are burying him she is there see so the devotion towards christ made her stick on with jesus even after his death okay marichu kazhinjana shesham see none of the disciples came there to apply spices to the body but this lady came see so that shows her devotion for christ so who are all the women who came to jesus i have made a list of all the uh, gospel passages and we see that in mark's gospel 16 verse 1 we see three people who have come three women who have come to see jesus mary magdalene mary the mother of james and salome okay salome is not mentioned in other passages of gospels but she is only mentioned here but there is one other passage in the bible where we can get a clue as to who salome might be okay matthew chapter 27 verse 56 Matthew chapter 27 verse 56 ide list avada parayumbo salome ide perile they have added a description to it let's read that Matthew chapter 27 verse 56 among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary mother Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee okay so the sons of Zebedee we know are John and James okay john and james who are the disciples of jesus one among the 12 okay two among the 12 james and john ivarana valadu bhagathu edathu bhagathu okke irthana vannu amma vannu choichu appo so the mother of james and john might be this salome that's what scholars say so james and john's mother salome is there mary the mother of james is there we don't know who that lady is but we know mary magdalene is a person from whom jesus had cast out seven demons okay but even allam e kallarakkel varana why the reason why they came is to put more spices on his body why should they do this out of love for christ yesu karthavine thande thangalde sneham arikka now they never expected that jesus would be risen they came to honor a dead body they did not come to honor a living christ they came to honor a dead body then the next question that has to be asked is um what was their concern the concern was the removal of the stone avare bhara adayirunnu aaru njangalku vendi aa stone maati theru ennallu why because only if the stone is rolled away they can approach inside only if they can go inside can they anoint his body with spices that was their concern but when they reached there to their surprise the stone was already rolled away okay the stone was already rolled away who did that the answer is there in the next verse there is a young man robed in white okay somebody who, ro- who was wearing a white robe was sitting inside the tomb and it was not jesus so when they looked at him you know they were all they all three of them were shocked and that's why they were like oh yaar idu nin athirikkana ennu yojichu vaan when this man this man would have said these words what are the words that he said he said do not be alarmed you seek jesus of nazareth was crucified he has risen he is not here ningal anveshikkina vyakti ivide illa he has risen see he has risen from where from the grave from the dead he has come back to life he has resurrected that is what this man is trying to say don't be alarmed ningal pedikiru nettedu he has come back to life see so who is this young man most probably he is an angel right he is an angel and an angel is informing them about the resurrection of christ angels are god's messengers we see them being sent to inform great news of some great people who are coming right we saw them in the beginning of luke gospel and mark's gospel when the angel comes and informs john the baptist parents that john is going to be born see then we also see angel being sent to mary to inform her that she is going to have jesus and because angels were used at important times to pass on important messages about certain people's births now jesus has been born from the grave from the dead so to inform that again an angel was sent and this angel gives them this reply the all important message of jesus having risen from the grave 
So that was the good news. The good news is that the grave is now empty. Now the question is, why did they roll the stone away? Is it for Jesus to come out of the grave? No, Jesus doesn't need the stone to be rolled away. He can just walk through walls now. With his new body, he was resurrected from the grave. With this new body, Jesus can pass through walls. Doors cannot keep him. He has become so strong that nothing can stop Jesus now. See, And here, the stone has been rolled away for these ladies to go inside and check for themselves that Jesus is not there. See, So the stone has been rolled away for us to believe, not for the dead body to rise up and walk out. No. Jesus doesn't need the stone to be opened. The stone has been moved so that you can check inside that Jesus is not there inside the grave. So these women went inside, they saw and they were terrified. They were said, don't be alarmed, but now they were terrified. So, uh, <clears throat> what was their mission? The mission was, once the angel told them this good news, their mission was, go and tell. Go tell his disciples and Peter. You see that? Go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. Why did this Why does this angel specifically say Peter? Because Peter would have been so guilty. He would be feeling so down that he rejected Jesus three times. You know, he said, I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him three times. So now the angel is telling a special message to Peter. Hello, Peter. I am back. See, you don't have to hide anymore. Come back to me. That is what Jesus is trying to tell. Message, special message to Peter. You know, come back, Peter. I am ready. I am here. I am back from the grave. But tell all the disciples, especially Peter also. And that is the mission of the women. You would have thought, they even namakari mission they are namla udne obey jayanam. But did these people obey? We see the next verse. They said nothing to anyone. Why? Because trembling. Second, astonishment. Trembling and astonishing. Trembling, why? It's a scary thing when somebody comes back from the dead. We know that he was dead. We had seen him being buried and we knew he was a dead body. Now he has come back to life. That is what has scared them. Second, the angel's sight, the sight of the angel would have scared them. See, And they were trembling. They were astonished. They were shocked. So when the commandment is given to obey, they don't obey. They don't go and tell anybody. But I want to show you another passage. Turn with me to Mark chapter 1. That's where we started out. No, Mark chapter 1, <coughs> verse 40. I'm just reading verse 40 down. And a leper came to him, imploring him and kneeling, uh, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in desolate places and people were coming to him from every quarter. See, Jesus specifically told this leper now, now healed, said don't go and tell anybody. Okay, Because why? Because I have more work to do in these cities, you know. If you go and tell, my work will be stopped. My work will be hindered. I won't be able to move around freely. But this man went and told everybody. See, When Jesus tells every, somebody to keep quiet, that person goes and tells everybody. When Jesus tells somebody to go and tell everybody, they don't say anything. They just keep quiet. See, how obedient we are, no? We, When God says, do this, we will do exactly the opposite. When God says, don't do it, we will do exactly opposite again. See, so we are very disobedient people. But God is telling us again and again to become obedient. Like how? Like Mary Magdalene. See, she went and told everybody. See, verse 9 says, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene from whom he had cast out seven. She went, verse 10, and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. See, those men didn't know. They were mourning and crying, still thinking he's just dead. Then this lady goes and tells them, Hey, how about some good news? Jesus is no longer dead. He is risen from the grave. He is not there. The body is not there. He is gone. 
such a good news so the first missionary in the bible is mary magdalene who went and told the good news about his resurrection but the sad thing is did they believe him verse 11 no they did not believe it why first maybe they felt still, still guilty about abandoning him you know yesu thana arrest cheyappo avar ellam kuda vittu odiyallo adinde kaaranam kondu avaru chelpam they might be feeling so much guilty then second unbelief oh endo nu aarengilo ingane kedinu chedu aarum sondamayittu kallare nu nenikkanu pattathilla once dead always dead adallad namukku vera onnu ariyathilla see so their unbelief may be another reason and secondly it could be the guilt feeling that how do i face the risen christ who can't be it should not be he should not come back from the grave you see so that could be both the reasons it is too good to be true no the gospel is too good to be true it is also reasons. an expert. pardon me i didn't hear the two reasons the two reasons maybe they were feeling guilty about their abandoning christ when he was arrested secondly it could be their unbelief avishwasam you know sound something sounds too good to be true it has to be too good to be true you know nadakkana karyam illa so we have set our mind on unbelief nammal parayo oh nadakatha karyam we wish it was true but it can never happen see for mary magdalene nu thoniya dairikum that's how they would have thought they would have made fun of mary magdalene maybe they would have said okay oru vaadu karanju 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 mary magdalene vattai kaanum see they said all these things about mary but mary was joyful why because she had seen the risen lord that's what john says okay so she had seen jesus and she nothing what whether their belief or unbelief did not change her faith in christ what she had seen so what does it mean it also means for us nammal poi yesu karthavinte ee sandesham arodengilum parayumba avaru nammale kaliyakum okay they will not believe you they will still remain in unbelief why because they will not accept the message of a person coming back from the grave okay they won't believe that jesus has risen from the grave and even if we give proof for that they may not believe it so jesus says it's okay it's okay even if they don't believe you have to keep going and telling them that's what mary magdalene did and that's what we have to keep on doing go tell everyone that you know that he has risen there is no grave in calvary there is no grave in jerusalem where you can visit the late great jesus okay he has been risen and he has ascended on high and he sits at the right hand of the father and he will come to judge the living and the dead that's what the bible says and that's what we believe we have not seen it but yet we believe and jesus says blessed are the ones who don't see but still believe okay so we are the greater ones we are the better ones who haven't seen it but will still believe so the grave is empty as we come to the grave let us look to him and say lord help us to believe it with all our heart the jesus is risen and he is definitely going to come back soon all right let's pray let's close our eyes and let's pray let's ask him that he would fill our hearts with this truth of his resurrection the bible gives us ample evidence for that father god we want to thank you this evening that you brought us to the open grave you are no longer inside you have risen triumphantly victoriously from the grave death could not hold you back no power could hold you back jesus has risen and he has ascended our savior lives forever and ever he is alive and because he lives i shall live also everyone who believes in you will live even after they die father what a great hope you have given us you have given us the true picture of what it is to be having life after death because you have risen we shall live also we thank you a lot for mary magdalene who was the first one to go and tell everybody she f- she was faced with unbelief but yet she kept on telling everybody what she had seen later on when you did appear everyone had to believe for the same like that when we go and tell others they are not going to believe it maybe but help us to present the proof clearly the word of god clearly for them to understand even if they don't when you appear father they will all believe we want to thank you and praise you for this great truth of the scripture the good news that you have given us in jesus name we pray amen